Hi, not all burger joints were created equal. With 20 mouth-watering burgers available, all cooked to order using fresh, premium quality ingredients, we're pretty sure you love every last bite. We're located at 320 Packington Street in Newtown, 51 Moorabool Street in Geelong, and for information on the menu, check out burgerinc.com. So come on in, we'd love to feed you. Find more. More plays on quickly. Onto his right foot with a short little kick looking for Theodore. Not Theodore, he used to play for him, but it's um, Carmody. Carmody on the right, kicks into the centre of the ground, was taken by um, Adam Harris, who gets a handball. He's stuffed Adam Harris. Gets out to McNamara, who's been very busy. With a quick handball into the centre of the ground, and that comes from Moore. Moore back to. Uh, really it. And there's a turnover here. Breakaway here, guys. I was going to give the handball to Radney. Radney can always run into a goal. Runs under 50. Has a bounce. On the right foot. Floats him. Kick inside 50. Taken by nobody. Picked up there. Well done, Davenport. On the right. Oh. Kicked. Oh. Kicked a point. And half back for the Colac side where it's knocked straight back over the boundary line to be thrown in front of the Colac interchange box. Nick Hayes looking at maybe uh, putting him on his radio station. Anyway, he's not listening, Nick Hay. He's here this afternoon, but uh, as the uh, the umpire looks to spin the ball back into play, deep in the final term, Burke wins the tap. It's been sharked there by Harris, who gave it to Scott, who gave it back to Harris. Harris tries to get it out to his teammate, but he didn't. In comes uh, the Gravedale player. Here's Embry. Embry tries to get out of a tackle. He gave a handball over to McNamara. McNamara gave it to uh, that player in Moore. Moore gets a quick kick on the right boot. He's looking for some runners here. Here comes Carmody. He's been over. Considine did too. Martin didn't for Gravedale. Good. Gave a quick handball over to his teammate. And that player was Bars, who back himself and got out of two tackles and gets on the right boot and kicks towards Phil. And he's up there. His teammate tries to take a mark, but Colac plays cover me on and punts the ball and punts the ball out, but didn't quite go out. So Bennett gave it to his teammate there in Adams, and now he's going to get 50. Did you see what that was for? No, it wasn't much in it. Pushed him off after uh, the free kick was paid. 25 and a half minutes gone into the final term, and Adams for Colac has had a pretty good day. So Adams on the right, Burke kicks it to his uh, teammate there in Burke for Colac. So Burke goes back. Now he's going to look to move the ball. What's the bloke on the mark looking like doing at the moment, uh, Zinner? Not much. <laughs> Bit of line dancing. Bit of line dancing. Now he's been asked to play on and he came in and smothered it. So Gibson gave a quick tap on. But Martin's there for uh, Grovedale. Kicks it towards Embry up from behind. Punches it away. But at ground level, it's the uh, Grovedale player. Gave a quick handball out of his teammate. And there's the big boy there. He gave a handball over. And uh, they push forward now. Who's that player? That looks like Larkham, is it? Gave a handball over to O'Brien. O'Brien has a shot at goal for Grovedale and he's kicked it. So Grovedale move it to 10-14. Look, uh, I've named three, I've put three names down. Uh, Just one, mate. Adams, Leeson and Scott, but I'll get to Leeson, he's kicked five goals as well. Okay, so uh, that player Harris got a quick kick out of the pack, but it's been sharked there by the Grovedale player in Martin. Martin kicks out wide towards Taylor, who's been pretty good this afternoon with three majors. Gets on the left boot and kicks it towards his teammate there, and he's going to come out, take a mark, that's Gleeson. Hits the ground running and gets on the right boot, kicks it towards his uh, teammate down there. He's going to go up and take a mark, couldn't quite do so. At ground level is Harris, he's been busy in the last term. Jeez, that was a great tackle by Davenport. Jeez, that was a... Oh, a Played a free kick for two high. Then swore at the umpire and given away 50. So Balsh has got the free kick for two high. And now he's starting to say a bit too. But he's got 50 anyway. Game's over here. I wouldn't be doing too much now. Well, we've got 20, uh, <laughs> 27 minutes into the final term. Devon, Devonport fellas is, ch is following <laughs> McNamara in and giving him the serve. He's about to lose serve. It. Taking him off now. Yeah, yeah they're they're gonna gonna take him, off. him off. Probably a good idea. They are. King out wide. Here's your man, Learsom. Oh, he's my man too, and Zitter's man because he's the best player on the ground this afternoon. He's kicked five majors. And he's Fantastic. Up here. And a great kick has seen him find his teammate there, and that being Embry, about 50 out from goal. I don't want to be critical, too critical, D, but I tell you what, there's a player out there for Grovedale who, my man's had two hit replacements, it'd be quicker than him. Yeah, he I think I know you're talking about, but I'm not going to go there either. So. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, he's had a pretty dirty names, day too. Names. Hey? Names. Yep. Yeah. Anyway, here comes Embry, kicks it long towards the Touched goal, he's going to be touched right on the line. Player of the day is going to go to number nine for Carlac, that being Learsome. 
Kick out, Mitch is there, couldn't quite mark it. At ground level, there's Burke, he's been pushed off the ball by Taylor, he's been pretty good for Grovedale. Kicks it on the left foot towards someone, but he couldn't quite find him. Here comes uh, Embry. Oh, great bit of courage there shown by Embry, and then Bennett went in there and tried to get it out, and was held without the ball, and will take the free kick. So uh, Bennett uh, just sort of ticking time over here. We've gone 28 and a half minutes into the final term. Oh, there's the big boy there. He tried to see if he could get it out of his team. Uh, Bennett kicked it off the ground, and it's going to go over the banner and out of bounds for a throw in. As uh, Mackie got a push in the back, he's going to get a free kick. A pay advantage to uh, his teammate there and O'Brien. O'Brien goes bang and kicks another. Point. Point. Oh, jeez. Yeah, well done. And uh, the quick kick out there by Bennett into Good the middle of the ground. Big Mitch has gone bang, punch it, another 20 metres forward. Coley at ground level. Bolsh ran over the top of the ball. In there's Grovedale. Prize look out. You're going to go. You're going to go. No, the outboard. Cross his hands. Says no. Is it fair to say the difference is, I don't know, just a, the leg speed of the Colac side? I'd say uh, leg speed, and I'd say they've got probably... Uh, they're you know, probably harder at the ball than the Grovedale. Very hard at the man. I think when they've uh, got the ball, it's a different story, but they're throwing their weight around off the... Uh, off the ball a bit. Got a few more quality players too, I think, Cullock. As McNamara over ran the ball, here comes Meyer. Meyer gave a handball out to Taylor. Taylor gets on the left boom, kicks He's it behind. Been He's been good, Taylor. Kicks oh, two scoring shots the quarter time, so, so you know, busy in the, the other three quarters. Kick-in's been marked out there by Monaghan for Colac. So Monaghan gets on the right boot, kicks it out wide, looking for his teammate out there, but it's over the back and out of bounds for a throw-in. So we've gone 30 minutes into the final term. It's all... Over here at Birdie Reserve, it's going to see Carlick go on and win this game there. Uh, 119 and uh, Grove Dollar 76. How many goals have had in this quarter, Jack? Who? How many goals have been kicked in this quarter? Uh, what have we got? 10 uh, 18. Um, sorry, fellas, I've got to look it up. Yeah, not too many. We'll get back to you in a minute, Jack. As we're back in the centre of the ground, Colac putting pressure on the grove outside. Could have got a free kick there, Scott. Good play there by the uh, player. Gave it out to Taylor. Taylor gave a quick handball over to his player in Burke. Burke on the left boot for Grovedale. Has a shot at goal. The goal. It's home. Back in the centre. Scott versus Mench. Mench got the tap down. Comes out to Burke for uh, the uh, Colac side. Uh, Bolsh gave a handball over the top to Murray. He's been pretty good this afternoon. Got out of one tackle and then got legged. And the umpire's going to pay a free kick. So uh, not long to go now, boys. As Murray uh, sees he's got a player in the middle of the ground. He goes that way. And that player's more... Moore gets on the right boot, kicks it long and out towards Scott. Scott from behind looks like he's just about he's knackered. Spent. He's spent. <laughs> uh, coming in there was Carmody, gave a handball over Siren. to Harris. But Siren sounds and it's the Colac Tires. Well, Kane, congratulations on a great win today. A really a team effort. That first quarter, 7-5 to two uh, points. You really showed what it was all about. Your run on game through the centre, your back men held up and your forward line yourself uh, all played well in the first quarter. Yeah, we did definitely we set ourselves for a big first quarter. We we're a bit disappointed no one still rates us when we're still the underdog today. But uh, we thought we'd Including have myself. Yeah, I thought I was still I read that actually. But um no, we definitely got a quick side, young, very young. Had a crack and ran them off their feet there. They, didn't know what they come back in the second quarter, kicked five goals to two, but what did uh, John Peakin say at half time? Oh, he said, like, we, everyone knew they were going to come back. They're a good, strong side. Mench is a good coach, but um, we knew they were going to come, weather the storm, and then set it up again in the third quarter. We'll break. You Jack. Say you're only a young side, and congratulations on that. A uh, bit about yourself, quickly. Where do you come from? Uh, born in Kellac. Well, not much. Played for Kai for a few years now. Um, Been in the Falcons or anything like that? Yeah, I'm in Falcons, yep. Well done. Well, on today's performance, there's no doubt they'll look at you again. And uh, the Burger Ring uh, Trophy, best man in the ground, congratulations. And to yourself and to the Colac side, well done. All right, thanks very much. At Ellsworthy's Retrovision, we're more than just the best price. We'll give you expert advice with a huge range of big brand products. Locally owned and operated in Geelong, Eldsworthy's Retrovision will give you more every time. If it's a big screen TV you're after, or a top brand washer or fridge, we have the best range to choose from. Come into Ellsworthy's today at two big locations, Mirable Street, opposite Skill Stadium in Geelong, or Warren Ponds Homemaker Centre. Eldsworthy's Retrovision.